Okay, YouTube, so here's a walkthrough of my basement. I did a basement bar build video a little while ago, and I'm finally pretty much done with the basement. Stair work still left, but uh, maybe a little bit of touch-up paint. For the most part, though, it's done. Uh, enjoy. Got a six-person recliner. 120 inch screen, uh, got it off of Amazon. The surround sound is 5.2 uh, from RSL Sound Labs or whatever, Roger Sound Labs out of California. The projector I went with is an Epson uh, 4K E HDR 10, yada yada. Uh, so in here, I know it's hard to tell but that will eventually be a Murphy door, a bookshelf door, whatever you want to call it, to house all my electronics. Still a work in progress, but Xbox One X, receiver, etc. The projector, in my opinion, is excellent. I know there's obviously better ones out there, but I really like it a lot. Everything down here was done myself, except for the granite at the bar and finishing the drywall. I hung every piece, laid all the tile. That's tile floor. It's from Home Depot, nothing special. Uh, I got a pool table. I did do a uh, Daikin mini split. through a ceiling grid operation. So basically I wanted to be able to feed the bathroom and behind this wall is the bedroom. So I basically blocked off one of the vents out of a branch duct that feeds over to a duct in that room and a duct in the bathroom. It's a pretty simple install. Uh, they come pre-charged. The outside unit. Very quiet, very efficient. It's running right now. I got the cover for the line set off of Amazon. Here's the bar. The ceiling is Armstrong 2x2 deep coffer ceiling tiles, or I think a three inch coffer. And I got black trim rings around all of my uh, can lights. On the speakers, I went with piping for the stands up front, piping for the mounts in the back. And then I added, it's got zone set up, so I have a second zone to add these speakers here and here to where I can play something different than what's on the main or play the same thing throughout. The receiver come from Accessories for Less. It's a D9 receiver and it has two HDMI outputs. So right now the Xbox is feeding the projector and I've got a 60 foot HDMI cable going from that room in there to the bar TV. So what that does is when football is on, I don't get a lag between the sound and the picture between the two TVs because it's all coming from the same source. The bar stools, in the first video I made, they were a little bit different, but I took them back and got these instead. They are from Lowe's, a uh, special order. You can't just go to Lowe's and buy them. But with a coupon, I think I got each one for like 70 bucks. All the piping is from Lowe's. I actually had a pipe cutter at work, so I brought it home and uh, I, not a pipe cutter, pipe threader. The, these pieces, the big pieces I had to cut down, I bought two 10 foot pieces, cut them down, threaded them. Took a hole saw, cut the air stone and put a block behind it so it would push the flange out so it made it look more flush. There's LEDs all up under the bar, black pipe, did the same pushing it out. Uh, the LEDs 
are all uh, multicolor. The bar rail from a company called Hardwoods Incorporated. I paid two eighty to do this, that, that, and that. Then I went back with an epoxy top over oak uh, wood. The epoxy is from Best Bar Top Epoxy, and I had two gallons, and I have that much left. So that was enough. Really good stuff, good company. They answered all my questions each time I called. Um, epoxy was 130 for a gallon of each. The granite came out to like 1140-ish. I got it from the remnant side. And they did make me a cutting block for slicing your uh, lemons, limes, whatever. Uh, bar sink, I believe, came from Lowe's. The faucet came from Amazon. These cabinets are just base grade cabinets from Lowe's. I got $500 in all of them. The, these over here are regular standard base cabinets. These are wall cabinets that I actually built a base down here that you can't see to make them the same height. So I didn't use so much cabinet space going around through here. The backsplash is just, I think, from Home Depot. What else? The Airstone. If you'd have had to pay full price, which I did not, but it would have been about 360 bucks. Um, total, the piping was about 150. And my fridge, I waited till Best Buy had it on sale and actually got it for, uh, I think around 200, maybe a little more, I don't remember. These shelves. The piping is what holds them up. I routed uh, slots in the pipe to put the LEDs in. They're fed through all the wall and they go down here through here. There's conduit inside the bar that I built that comes out to the controllers that are housed in here. Uh, what else? That's about it for the bar. And then the bathroom, I got the granite remnants to also match the countertop for the vanity. Um, toilet is from a company called Liberty Pumps. I'll show you why I had to go with that. That's why it doesn't look like a normal toilet in the back. All this tile for the shower came from Home Depot as well. So it's a full bath down here. Come in here, it's just a bedroom. I haven't really done anything in here, but I ran the tile throughout. Um, I'll never do that much tile again. It sucked. What else? Uh, yeah, the toilet. So the bar sink, all of my plumbing, my main drain line comes right through here, down, and you can see the drain uh, clean out I haven't covered yet. So there's a sink pump, laundry pump, up under here. I don't know if you can see it, yep. Goes through union, do a check valve and basically pumps it up. That allows me to get up to here. The toilet is essentially the same thing, but it has a macerator in it. This is just gonna stay a workshop. So the back of the toilet comes right in here. Macerator with a pump. The vanity comes in here. And the shower comes in here. And these big lines are vents. And this little one inch line is actually where all the waste comes up and ties back into my main line. All right, uh, let's see, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section.